Good morning, everybody. Today I'm getting ready for a one of my Boy Scout polar bear outings, and so I pulled out my um, extreme cold weather military sleep system, and real remembered that I had a couple of people that asked me some questions on my review, and I owed you guys a follow-up video on uh, two specific parts of that review. First one was people wanted to know how can they be sure that they're actually getting a real official military sleep system and secondly how do you assemble the system so I'm going to go over those two items right now bear with me my cameraman is out snowboarding so I've got no zoom on this one so I'm going to, have to be a human zoom today now the system starting with the system this is the bag it does compress down to about one cubic foot about 11 pounds uh, so it's fairly heavy but I love this system and I think it's very flexible. As far as making sure that you get a real system, each individual component of the system should have the um, a tag, military ID tag on the outside of it. And this one here, bear with me, getting old and need my glasses. This one here shows the outside piece and it says stuff sack compression. It gives um, an ID number as well as instructions on how to use it. Each component should have this tag on it if it's, a, if it's an official military uh, sleep system. So look for that tag. Now as far as the individual components go, you have this is the intermediate sleep bag, intermediate uh, cold weather bag. This is rated down to uh, 10 degrees all by itself, but um, I'd probably sleep it down to about 30 degrees because I don't like being cold. Again, notice it has on it the tag that indicates that this is the intermediate bag. This is the modular sleeping intermediate cold, cold bag. Here's the tag here. So we know that this is official. That's the intermediate bag. You also have a control bag. This one is rated down to 30 degrees. And it also has the tag on it which indicates that this is the modular sleeping bag patrol. As I said, this is rated down to 30 degrees, but I'll tell you what, I've slept in this in 30 degrees and it sucks. I didn't die, but there were a couple of points during the night where I was kind of wishing that I might not make it through till morning. So when it's 30 degrees, I'm using this intermediate bag, not this bag for me. This bag is good down to probably 45 degrees, but I'm kind of a candy butt. The older I get, the less I like being cold. So that is the patrol bag. And the last item is the Gore-Tex bivy cover. And as with all of the other, all, all of the other items, you have the ID tag which is right here it's on the side of the hood and here this one says bivy cover gives them the uh, ID number and who and who actually made it so we know that all four of these components are the original components and they are not some kind of a cheap knockoff. Now, as far as assembling the system, first piece obviously is going to be the outside bivy cover. The next piece that's going to go in is the patrol bag.
And I know that because I've got a snap on the outside to snap to the bivy cover and a snap on the inside to snap to the intermediate cold weather bag. So patrol bag goes in and I just line up the zippers and I work my way up. I snap this one I snap this one, then I snap this one, work my way up the top of the zippers, and if I run out of snaps here, the same time I run out of snaps on my bag, I know that I'm lined up. I'm going to go to the bottom of the bag, and I'm going to work the snaps here here, 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 and I ran out of snaps at the same time on the bivy as on the patrol bag, and then I've assembled the first two components, the patrol bag and the bivy cover. Now this if I'm sleeping without a shelter, as I said, pretty comfortable down to 40, 45 degrees, probably 45 degrees if you're dressed properly inside the bag. I know it's not what it's rated for, but I don't like to be cold. If we get down closer to zero, I'm going to add the intermediate patrol bag to it, or the intermediate cold weather bag. Take this, slide it into the bottom. Make sure that all these zippers kind of line up. And then what I'm going to do is find the first zipper, first snap near the zipper. I'm going to snap this intermediate bag into the patrol bag on the top. If I run out of snaps at both at the same time, that's a good thing. Here's the last snap. Now, same thing here. I'm going to locate this first snap, match it up with the snap on the bottom bag. And my last snap and the last snap. And now I have the whole system set up and ready to go. The one last thing that I want to do over here is make sure that I've got everything inside of the hood. So here I've got the green patrol bag with its hood and its, and, and its uh, cinch cord. Then I've got the black bag with its hood and its cinch cord. Everything fits into here nicely. Everything else is snapped in. Now when you zip it, you, what you've really got is you've got three different zippers depending on how you do this. So for right now I'm going to zip up the intermediate bag. So you got that there. Now I've got the green patrol bag. And zip 
that up. And now last but not least, on the Gore-Tex Bibby cover, set that up. And then if you really want to be secure, you can even snap this collet, this uh, flap over the top of the zipper so that you don't get water in there. But now that system is complete and ready to go. One last thing that I wanted to show you that I really liked about this system was that they always tell you when that you don't want to breathe into your sleeping bag because you'll get condensation in the bag and that does kind of stink because then you got a wet bag. However, one of the things that I found was that you've got the bag closed up here and if I really wanted to keep my head warm I could bring this Gore-Tex over the top and if I breathed inside of the Gore-Tex I got frost inside of the Gore-Tex, but the bags themselves stayed relatively dry. So if I really needed to completely close up or if it was raining, I could close this. And I did get some frost inside the Gore-Tex cover, but then uh, this wasn't a big deal to get dried out. It wasn't like breathing inside of your bag. So just one additional way to keep warm. And if it's actually raining, uh, that goes over the top. It's got a Velcro patch here and you can stay completely dry. So that is the USGI modular sleep system. Um, I hope I answered both the questions that I set out to, showing you how to make sure that you're getting uh, that you're getting a real uh, USGI system, as well as how to assemble a system. So that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please uh, favor the video and subscribe to my channel. I try to come out with videos every once in a while. And uh, aside from that, have fun, be safe, and hey. Take your kids camping. Have a wonderful day, everybody.